So a new addition for 2019 to the Oxford Diecast military range is a post-war uh, vehicle, which post-war items don't really float my boat, but I thought I really like this setup, so I've got to have it. What it is, is this nicely attractively boxed set of the Royal Air Force Bristol Bloodhound guided missile with launching ramp, launching trolley and RAF Land Rover in 176 scale. Um, the Bristol Bloodhound surface to air guided missile was an RAF weapon introduced in about 1958 and it was never a British Army weapon it was only used by the UK forces by the RAF for protection of the UK and the protection of airfields as part of the uh, lightning defence system and um, that is to say the main aircraft of the period was the lightning fighter jet and if the UK came under threat if the airfields came under threat from Russian bombers the lightning jets would be sent to intercept them if they got through the lightning jets then these would be sent up to shoot the bombers down it's a radar controlled missile um, it's the Bloodhound would be launched by four solid rockets and it had a range of 60 miles after it was launched the rockets fell away from the body and the main propulsion rocket took over and hit its target the guidance of the rocket and the the movement of its uh, launching ramp will be done by electronics from a series of caravans set around the RAF airfield it would ride a beam of light to its target the the radar would shine a light on the target and the missile would ride that beam of light till it hit its target it was still in service in various guises right up until the 1990s not only by britain by other countries as well the box set costs currently um 24 pound and it is a really nice set i'm not into post-war things but i really had to have this one and um, the only other set that was available Kogi Toys did a similar range in 143 scale in the 60s and you may or may not remember the old oops the old Airfix kit in 172 scale they did the same thing in 172 scale so it is available as a kit and it is available as as uh, an old uh, did I say Kogi Toy model but this is the incarnation by Oxford Diecast in 176 scale so it's all bubble sealed in its box you have a kind of computer graphic illustration of the setup on the side all the way around and on the back it's code 76 set 65 bloodhound missile set now on the back the illustration is a bit misleading because it shows two ramps that the launcher sits on which you don't get and that that there is very reminiscent of the Kogi Land Rover so whether they've used their own original illustration or whether they've adapted a Kogi illustration I don't know but anyway what you get in the box is a really nice little setup so once you dispense with the box it's still sealed inside the box you have a cover that comes off and inside you have a really nice um, series 2 Land Rover long wheelbase canvas back and yes that is the correct tow vehicle for this setup at the same time when the RAF had this the British Army had a more elaborate um, Thunderbird or Honest John missile system so a really nice representation of the long wheelbase Land Rover in RAF livery tow bar on the back of it again all the wheels free wheel they do turn they have individual rubber tires on them a really nice model and you have an all plastic missile these yellow things here one two three four are the rockets that fire it off the launch ramp 
and the other rockets take over. So that's all plastic. Very nice thing. And you have die cast base plastic body launcher and it does articulate up and it does articulate back down again and it does 360 and you have the nice launch trailer in the box the tow bar is turned around under it for storage so you turn it back around you have the tow bar you have the really nice little wheels and the launch ramp does go backwards and forwards. It has a winding handle here, which doesn't do anything on this particular model. But on the Airfix kit version, when you turn that, it does, it lifts that up and down. Now, why it's non-functional on the Oxford Diecast one, but they've gone to the trouble of making it turn, but it doesn't actually connect with anything. And I don't know why they've done that. So it's a really nice representation of the trailer. And you may wonder why the wheels are set so far back with the gap between them. Well, that's going to be apparent in a minute. So how was it used? Well, what you had, you have the trailer and the missile fixes onto the trailer. You have two recesses here and a bracket there. The nose goes in the bracket. And the wings go on these recesses so it kind of goes like that now you notice there is quite a big overhang at the back of the vehicle and the gap between the wheels well this is going to be apparent so it hooks up to the land rover the land rover drags it to the already sighted uh, launch pad and then what happens is the launch pad is fixed in a place, already sighted, so the trailer has to manoeuvre to the launch pad. So what happens is, the Land Rover reverses it up to the launch pad, and you see where the gap between the wheels become apparent. It goes between the gap in the wheels, and then when it's sufficiently at a distance, the winch winches it, onto the launch pad so in real life that will be winched backwards onto its launch pad then the trailer will be pulled away and then the radar system would take over the radar would control the 360 degree movement and the up and down and the firing mechanism so when it was secure the missile would go the full 360 degrees or it would go up or back down so that's in its launch position so again really nice little model in 172 there's a lot of detail for that 176 scale line. really is nice so that's the current military offering from Oxford Diecast, which is the Bristol Bloodhound guided missile with launching ramp, loading trolley, and REF Land Rover, all in 176 scale. Costs around 24 to 26 pound. That's what I've seen them advertised at. So it's new for this year, 2019. A really cracking little model.